Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Um, thanks as always for tuning in. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm just having a blast talking about cards. And so I think it's really cool. <laughs> People watch the channel. So I've got um, some videos coming up. Um, definitely some pickups that are um, T206. And then I'm going to do a soccer video and some other stuff. But I wanted to show you today some new slabs. New to me. Um, these are um, some vintage and some 90s stuff, but I wanted to show you a little bit of a mix of some football, baseball, and a little basketball. And uh, let's get started. So this is a cool one. Um, 1960 tops. I have a little bit of vintage football. Uh, and this is a player um, and a name I've always liked. Y.A. Tittle. It's great. Kind of like old-timey name with the initials and stuff. And um, he was a quarterback for um, San Francisco. Um, this is a 1960 tops in a very good 3.5 and i'm just a sucker for you know centered vintage that looks like vintage and um just thought that was too cool of a card um got a decent price on it so there it is and nobody did the coin rub to to find out what the uh, football funny was so anyway that's the 1960 tops Y.A. Tittle. So, <clears throat> if you've watched the channel, you know that I, I really like collecting, you know, 1950s, 1960s um, vintage Hall of Fame baseball, and, and that collection has been a fun um, project. I uh, picked one up to add to this, um, and it's this one. It's a 1956 Topps Enos Slaughter Grayback in a PSA 3. But again, fits my criteria. The corners are worn and bent a little bit and pushed in. And, you know, top to bottom here is not great. But in terms of eye appeal, nice color. It looks like a vintage card. And I love that. And so I got an Enos Slaughter. I don't think I had any of his cards, actually. So that was my first Enos Slaughter. And so he'll go in the Vintage Hall of Fame baseball collection. And I guess at some point I should come back and kind of do a showcase of how that collection is going. Another one that's being added to that selection, also my first of this player. This is an Orlando Cepeda 1959 tops. And again, that green just pops pretty nicely centered off, obviously left to right. But... You know, in terms of eye appeal, I just think that's a beautiful card. Great smile. Shout out to Clint Swing Swingaway Sports um, for the Giants. So this one was a, a PSA 4 card 390. So I love the back design too. The little cartoon stuff of the 59. It's great. So there it is. The Cepeda. Anyway, liked that one. Um, and then, um, so that was some football and some baseball, some basketball to finish. Um, one that I picked up, I'm going to have to get out of the bag here. I had this card, but I I just think it's such a beautiful card. I got another one. Um, this is the 89 Fleer. Pretty iconic Jordan card. Um, for my money, I love the red with the white. Obviously off left to right, um, which probably brings this down. But otherwise, a very sharp card. But I like the red, um, the way this design worked with the team colors and everything. And um, one of my my favorite um, Jordan poses on a card. Anyway, this one got a PSA seven, and so you know not a high grade at all, but. Um, For the money, I can't turn this card down. I have this one, I think, at a 9. But I don't think there's ever a bad time to buy Jordan cards, basically. And, uh, you know, such an iconic player from my youth and loved watching him. And so, anyway, so that's the 89 Fleer Jordan. And another card that I stalked for a while, because I knew that I wanted to get one, and I, I ended up getting one is this 92 Tops Archives, um, also great pose, 
Love this one so much. This is a PSA 7. But what's cool about it, of course, is they did it in that kind of 84 tops baseball design. And so, you know, even though it was a 92 card, again, which isn't a modern card, modern, modern card, um, you know, nice 90s, early 90s card. I guess that's still modern, but you know what I mean. Um, it, what's cool about it is this a kind of retro -y design. And, uh, you know, it wasn't a card produced in the last five years or something. So anyway, so this is a PSA 7, as I said. And there's, um, let me get this out of here. I'll show you the back. There's the archives back. Very cool. And I like the card so much, and I was stalking this card so much, I bought a second one. This one is a PSA 7. And you can tell me what you think. Pretty darn close. The seven's got a little bit of a ding on that upper right corner. Still pretty sharp. So anyway, I just love that card. I think that's such a, such a cool photo. So those are the new um, slab pickups. Um, I guess six of them. And um, like I said, I'm going to do a T206 video. I've got a stack over here um, of a few of those that I want to show and a bunch of um, soccer stuff. So I'll do some separate videos on those uh, to show you what's coming in. But thanks, as always, for uh, tuning in and, and give it a like and, and tell me uh, if there were any of these cards that were your favorite uh, that you're digging. So anyway, I'll talk to you later on. Thanks.